Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka Kodash, Barakatam. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who rule well, who labor in this word, and who taught me this truth, giving us Akim across the four corners of the globe, the proper breakdowns of these scriptures, all through the power and spirit of the Raka Kodash. I also want to give a sincere peace, blessings, and salutations to all of you Akim across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel, which is the good news in all truthfulness and sincerity. You so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos, you so-called Native Americans, as well as you confusion the face brothers who may look like the other heathen nations, but in fact and indeed your bloodline goes back to the seed of a so-called Negro, a so-called Latino, a so-called Native American, making you one of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai's chosen people, man. So with that, uh, the Spirit just jumped on me to uh, do this video because in the process of me uh, about to put out another video epistle, and Lord willing, once I'm done with this one, I'll be able to put that one out. Uh, I was setting up my uh, Bible apps to go uh, into because that's what I like to do. Like all the Bible apps that I have, I like to uh, already have them pulled up. So if I can go from one to another. So if I should so have to look a word up, I like to go to this King James Bible online because when I try to look up a word it or look up a, a scripture this like the best one out of all of them. Even this one better than the blue letter to me. Uh, and I was in the process of setting up uh, the MySore app, which has the strongest definitions of words. And this was the scripture of the day. And as you can see, uh, it says uh, King James Version verse of the day for Monday. July the 16th 2018 and what does the uh, what's the scripture it says greater love have no man than this that a man lay down his life for his friends so Khan you know and that's the spirit because all last week you know the, the main topic uh, that brothers was bringing out starting with the apostles and the elders of great millstone was a uh, brotherly love, man. You know, as well as the other Akim. Yeah, a lot of videos was done on uh, the brotherhood and uh, brotherly love. So uh, with that, I'm going to uh, put a scripture out uh, in, in another Bible app, uh, the King James Version Apocrypha. I'm going to pull, pull this up. Uh, this is going to be... Uh, St. John chapter 15, uh, starting at uh, Salaki. St. John chapter 15, and I think I'm going to start at verse 11. Uh, well, I'm going to start at verse 12. And as you can see, this is red letter. So this is Yahweh Shai speaking. Khan. And it reads, this is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. Greater love have no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Con, because uh, we're, we're all brothers in this thing, and we're also friends, man. Let me read that again in verse 13. This is St. John chapter 15 and verse 13 and it reads greater love have no man than this that a man lay down his life for his friends so we are supposed to be in the mode of we're willing to lay down our life for our brothers man and this truth you know and as the scriptures continue on you're going to see why so uh, verse 14, ye are my friends if ye do 
whatsoever I commend you. Con. So what did uh, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, say? He said, greater love have no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Ye are my friends if ye do whatsoever I commend you. And Yahweh Shai have to be the so-called Negro, the so-called Latino, and the so-called Native Americans, friend, as well as the confusion of faces. So I can I can so I can about that I'm yawning. He has to be our friend because he was the ultimate sacrifice, man. He laid down his life for us. Okay? So Yahweh Shai is our friend, man. And he's the ultimate example of this scripture, man. Uh, verse 15. Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friends, for all things that I have heard of my father I have made known unto you. So Khan, Yahweh Shai is the ultimate friend, man. He's the ultimate big brother, man. Okay? So lucky about that. I came, it was I, I it was a long day at uh you know at the plantation as of every other day and I'm sitting up here yawning, but hey, this word has to go out. You know? What does the scripture say? Uh Revelations chapter uh so like it, not Revelations, but Romans chapter 12 and verse 1. Matter of fact, we're going to get it before we come back into this John. Okay? Because the scripture says to prove all things. This is Romans chapter 12 and verse 1. And it reads, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Hashem, Shai, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the heavenly Father, Yahweh, which is your reasonable service, man. That's reasonable. You know? We post, you know, that, so ain't no excuse. You know, this word has to be pushed, man. This word has to be, has to come out. Rain or shine. Uh, you know, if, even in tiredness. Okay? So, kind of going back into uh, St. John chapter 15. Uh, yeah, I'm going to read that again, starting at uh, verse 12, and I'm going to read it all the way through. This is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. Now, that is a commandment, and we're going to, matter of fact, I got my heart sore open too as well, and I'm going to get that because the Pharisees, and the Sadducees, they had, uh, they was uh, messing with Yahweh Shai. And they asked him, what was the uh, greatest commandment? Okay, come. This is going to be the book of Matthew, chapter. Oh, Satan want to play again. It's all good. Bear with me, Akin. Come, come. This is going to be the book of uh, St. Matthews, chapter 20, chapter 22. And we're going to get straight to the point. This is verse 38 and verse uh, Matthew, chapter 22 and verse 38. This is the first and great commandment. Salakia. I'm going to start at verse 37. Salakia about that. I can. This is Matthew, chapter 22 and verse 37. And it reads, Yahweh Shai saith unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy power with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. And thy neighbor is your fellow brothers that are sincerely uh, doing the work with you, man. You know? that are sincerely pushing the gospel, which is the good news. It's not talking about your very next-door neighbor, unless your next-door neighbor know that this is the truth and is doing the work. Okay? Verse 40. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. So, Khan, 
uh, going back into uh, St. John chapter uh, 15. Uh, yeah, Khan. This is my commandment that you love. St. John chapter 15, starting at verse 12. This is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love have no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Ye are my friends, if ye do whatsoever I command you. Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. And has your Shai, he has let us know through these scriptures what he has done and what he's going to do, man. Those of us that can receive it, that can perceive it, man. But I have called you friends for all things that I have heard of my father, which is the heavenly father, Yahweh, I have made known unto you. So come. And Yahweh Shai is going to make known even more things to us, man. He's going to show the elect uh, what was done to him, man. And that's and we're going to get that. He's going to make it known. Uh, this is going to be when he was crucified, man, all the things he went through. This is going to be the book of Zechariah, chapter 12. And we're going to start at verse 10. Con. And it reads, And I will pour upon the house of David and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem the spirit of grace and of supplications. And they shall look upon me whom they have pierced, and they shall mourn for him as one mourneth for his only son, and shall be in bitterness for him as one that is in bitterness for his firstborn. So, Khan, we're going to see what we're going to see uh, what happened to Yahweh Shai, uh, the real passion of the Hamashiach. Not that movie, Passion of the Christ, but we're going to see the real passion of Hamashiach. Yahweh Shai is going to make that known. Verse 11, in that day shall there be a great mourning in Jerusalem as the mourning of Had the Jermon in the valley of Megiddo. So Khan, Yahweh Shai is our friend and he's going to let us know, uh, well, he's going to let the elect know certain things and me being, I hope I'm of that number. You know, that's why I say I'm the hopeful elect. Okay, so Khan, with that, I want to get one another precept before I close out with this video epistle. And this is going to be the book of uh, Hebrews. Um, this is Hebrews chapter 2, verses 8 and 9, man. Khan, and it reads, Thou hast put all things in subjection under his feet. For in that he put all in subjection under him. He left nothing that is not put under him. But now we see not yet all things put under him. But we see Yahweh Shai, who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor, that he, by the grace of the heavenly father Yahweh Shai, should taste death for every man, kind. And that's every man that is an Israelite, a so-called Negro, a so-called Latino, and a so-called Native American, man. So kind. Uh, verse 9 again in Hebrews chapter 2. But we see Yahweh Shai, who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death. Right. Who did Yahweh Shai die for? He died for the nation of Israel, man. Okay. You so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos, and you so-called Na Native Americans. No one else. Crowned with the glory and honor that he, by the grace of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, should taste death for every man. So, Khan, Yahweh Shai, is the ultimate friend, man, to the nation of Israel. Okay? So, with that, hopefully this video was edifying to those of you who may come across it. Once again... I want to say, call Haloyim, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, Barakatam, which is all praises to the Heavenly Father Yahweh in the name of His Son Yahweh Shai. 
and the Holy Spirit bless you. Once again, I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well, who labor in this word, and who taught me this truth, and who give us Akim across the four corners of the globe, the proper breakdowns of these scriptures all through the power and spirit of Yahweh by Shem Shai. And I also want to give a sincere peace, blessings, and salutations to all you Akim across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel in all truthfulness and sincerity. You so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos, you so-called Native Americans, as well as you confusing their faces. So with that, I want to say a ball, a ball, and shalom.